Welcome, in this video we're going to install BSPWM on Arch Linux. So we have the possibility to install any desktop environment on Arco Linux, but also of course on Arch Linux, since Arco Linux and Arch Linux are based on the same thing called Arch. So we have these phases you go through when you start with number five here, phase 5 archway bias installation or ufi installation afterwards you have this phase 2 and then you have the phase 3 and at the end of phase 3 you have to decide hey what do i want do i want awesome cinnamon deeping i3 it applies to arco linux d and it applies to arch linux so we can use and reuse and change and re-edit etc our arco linux d scripts and use them at their own discretion. They are there on the GitHub for you. What I've done already, and, and I did not make a video about it, but I created, I followed this Arch Wiki, this BSPWM. I took phase three, I did all of this, phase three, LightYM is installed, XORG is there, and then I decided to go for BSPWM, still to be created right now. So what I say is sudo pacman s bspwm and also install the daemon for our simple x hotkey daemon, I think it's called. So it's going to, in, to tell, okay, control T is gonna launch our terminal and super shift return is going to start our file manager and so on. So this is the key handling, the key uh, board shortcut stuff and this is actually bspwm itself. So there's not a lot of information in here. As you see, it's quite scarce. And we have chosen for a panel, not lemon bar, but not yaw bar, but we have chosen for polybar since it was already available on i3, open box. Um, that's it, I think. And those desktops we've created already polybar. Okay, so installing this, I did this in a virtual box. What do you get? A black screen. Boring as hell, nothing to see, no icons whatsoever, right mouse click, nothing is there but a mouse cursor. So there's no fun in showing you that. What I will show you is how to install, well, Arch Linux on Arch Linux. Phase 3 is here. So we have followed our article here, that's in here, phase 3. We followed our, not this phase 3, well, mind you, but the phase three in Archway installation. There you find a this URL here. This is what we've done. And then you end up here. And then I say, I make a clone from this thing. And I decide phase four is installing something. In this case, PSPWM, we decide to install that. Like I said, it does not show you anything. It's gonna be also a very long and very boring video to uh, tell you how to install completely from, from scratch PSPWM. What will we do? We'll start our system, Arch Linux, as you can see, and we'll spice it up with our own Arch Linux stuff. That's how I call it, to spice the spices of Arch Linux. So we have an Arch base, Arch Linux installation. We have LightYM installed. But if we type our name, nothing happens. Why? Because there's nothing yet there. We have not installed any desktop whatsoever. When you type on your keyboard, right mouse con uh, click, of right mouse control key, right, keep it pressed in, and then F2, you go to the TTY2 and you say who you are, what your password is, maybe the sudo pacman minus s y u to get the latest updates in, and that's it. Now I'm going to direct you straight away to our own GitHub. So GitHub from Eric and the team. Arch Linux actually, not my GitHub, Arch Linux GitHub. There are two GitHubs. So git clone HTTP dash or double point slash slash github.com arco linux not right arco linux d if you do a typo like i did you'll uh, be asked a login and a password then you'll know you did the typo 
Arco BSPW. So Git is not known. I knew that this would happen. This is an Arch Linux installation. It's clean. It has nothing, meaning it does not have Git yet. So I'm going to install Git. Okay, doing it again. And we have indeed now a folder in which we can navigate and show what's in there. Arch Linux out of the box will only use one kernel. NumLock X is not installed. The application makes sure that my NumLock works. So the zero is no zero at all. Okay, and I want to have a the first one to use is this one, use all cores, because in this script it says, hey, you have four cores. I have actually eight, four for the Arco Linux and four for VirtualBox. So I'm giving now four cores to make this video faster. You have a faster compression, a faster build from stuff from AUR. That is done. Now I'm going to install our number 100 the display manager. It's going to skip LightDM. In the top you see warning, warning, warning. Skipping, skipping, skipping. So LightDM is already installed and it just doesn't do anything with it. It just keeps installing. So that's fine. It's a great way to skip stuff that's already installed. Now rebooting would show you the same thing. A black screen. <laughs> Nothing is there yet. There is no configuration yet from, from SXHQ or, or BSPWM. So no point in rebooting, like for instance, NixFC, you already have something to look at. You have a desktop environment. But in this case, we need to keep on going and installing stuff. So if you don't need sound, you won't install 110. Eric, 110. If you do like music, then you install sound. Or videos, of course. Almost there. Always in less to see. Or arrow up to see where we were we. 110. If you don't need 120, the Bluetooth, then you don't install it. So you don't run it. It's for um, anything smartphone-like or anything with headphones that uses Bluetooth. If you don't have a printer or you don't care, you don't install 130. There will be instances, even with this big database, that your the chances are that your uh, latest printer purchase is not going to be in there because it's too new. So you'll find these uh, stuff, these configurations for your printers, hopefully on the AOR. Now it says to me, sudo wget command not found. So again, I rely on the system that we wget is present in Arco Linux D. It is present, I made sure of it, but here it's not. So I'm going to install this command to get information from the net. And now we're going uh, to install our SMB. So three times a login, well, one login, two passwords, and we're installing Samba. Samba software is installed, fine. If you want to see somebody else's computer, you should see or run the Sun 50. Then we have the other scripts. 200 is basically everything coming from the Arch. So we're still, at this point in time, we are still 100% Arch Linux installation. It's when you start adding stuff from the AUR that we could discuss about, is this still Arch, right? So let me get the website from Arch Linux. So Arch Linux, that's definitely this one. It means all the packages from community, from core, from extra, from multilib, that's, nobody will discuss, that's Arch. But the things coming from AOR, AOR packages are user produced content. Any use of provided files is your own risk. It's not 
maintained it's not uh, from arch it is from users users making uh, package builds or recipes to build a package so we could you could argue once you cross that line and install stuff from aor you actually don't have an arch linux anymore not a pure one that is because aor gets its uh, packages from rpm from uh, meaning Red Hat or something similar, or Debian DEP files, or GitHub, or target GZs and zips and all that. So from various uh, sources, and it repackages it, it reshuffles all the folders and the files, and puts it in a format so that Arco Arch Linux and Arco Linux well can work with it. That's what AUR does. So from this time on, we are, oh, let's call it gray zone, yeah, 300. We are getting stuff that we are interested in, like uh, Conkeys, we like Conkeys, we like Discord, we like Vivaldi, we like Dropbox, we like InSync, we like Spotify. All these stuff are coming from not Arch Linux. They're coming from AOR and they're coming from somewhere else, some other Linux distro that repackaged, rebuilt, with a package built and then installed on our system. This point in time, we are installing Discord and Discord is our way to chat with you guys. So if you're interested, you can install Discord and then communicate with the other users, ask questions and then learn more together, help each other out or just talk to us, say hi. So let's wait for the installation to finish here. So we're running a rather long script all the installations are now being installed but as fast as possible since we ran 0, 0, 0 and all the four cores are now being used then we are at this uh, question here do you want virtual box or not if you don't want it you don't uh, you hashtag it out but i do want it and say yes okay we can we can install for me the host models arch and then we're almost at the end of the script so i put it almost to the end and then we need to run the next script. There we have it. So this is our folder. This is what we last ran. Means that we need to have number 400 now. And you see at the naming conventions, we have 200, which is the Arch Linux repo. 300 is the AUR. And now we're back at the Arch Linux repo, but this time for a specific distro. So if we have XFC, we put stuff in there for XFC. If it's awesome, we're going to put there distro specific stuff coming from Arch. The next line is coming from AUR again. Let's wait for the installation. Okay, we can continue. 400 is now finished. And we have 500, which is again something from AOR. The repo is, um, well, the, 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 the source where everything is coming from can be various places. AOR is Arch User Repository. It means it comes from GitHubs, it comes from Zips somewhere, it comes from Debian packages like Ubuntu, or it comes from Red Hat RPM. So it's a lot of um, variation out there, a lot of packages and applications, and it will be transformed, let's be uh, built again for Arco Linux with a package build. And that's what AOR is. It's a recipe how to build a package on the basis of a source, wherever it's coming from. So it's not part of Arch Linux as such, not maintained or supported by Arch Linux, but it's an Arch user based and harsh user repository so let's wait again for the installation of the application which is in this case polybar okay this was script 500 and as of now this is script 600 is actually going to get stuff from arco linux so i call it install arco linux uh, sorry install arch linux and spice it up or use the spices of Arco Linux. So there's a lot of work has gone into theming, Arc themes, Tintu themes, Rofi themes, so many elements have been created by us. 
Do we want to use them again in Arch Linux? Of course, of course. All the work that went into it, we can reuse and use it again on Arch Linux. And that's what this 600 does. Okay, then it says, target not found. Of course, Arch Linux, Arch Themes is not in the Arch repo. So if you type sudo, not sudo, Eric, if you type nano, for instance, etc, etc, pacman.conf, then of course there is nothing in here. We do have a line for our yahoot that's hashtagged out, but there is nothing in here about Arco Linux. So what we'll do is take a look. There is this folder that's called Archway. We're going inside the Archway folder, and here you have to run some things, and then you can install 600 on any system, Manjaro, on Tergos, any Arch-based system will work. So we say first of this key that Eric uses for all these packages and all these things, we need to import that. So that's done, our key is in here. Now we need the repos to be added to pacman.conf and why type everything if we can make a script, that's the, that's the only thing we do. We don't like to type, to do repetitive, repetitive work. So let's have a look. We have now these lines here. This is the only line that's gonna work. Arco Linux repo is signed, okay, and we have a server and it's here. That's what this says. Now we need to exit and say, okay, now we know that there is a new repo. We need to load it up, say, okay, give me what's on that repo. And now we have a new database in our system saying, Arco Linux repo has 14.7 kilobytes there and it's signed, okay? So now we need to go back up and we have to look at this number 600 because this number 600 is really going to get all things from, not all things, but things we don't want, like the awesome configuration on BSPWM looks a bit strange right so no we're only getting the stuff that we need like the arc themes like the bspwm git or configuration file folder or folder um, package this is what we actually need the third line here sudo pacman minus s article linux bspwm we need that one and all the rest is just um, well to have a nice new fetch and so on and so on so this is what we're going to install this are, or these are our spices from Arco Linux that we're putting on the top as a kind of topping on the cake. And we say, let's get those because there are wallpapers, there are themes, lots of elements that we um, have um, created and we want, of course, to, to share with you and, of course, reuse them. Okay, so that's going to be installed like wallpapers. I know there are wallpapers enough and you have your personal collection of wallpapers. I know. So you can use them, of course. We want some fonts, we don't need 710. Then 710 is there for all uh, desktop environments where conkeys are interesting, but in a BSPWM, a conkey is not really necessary, even required, even wished. So 800, if you want to auto login, if you say just want to woof, move right into BSPWM, don't need the system to ask, hey, who are you, what's the password? That's 800, and I'm gonna skip that one. And 900 is the fix the microcode. Some of us have this microcode error, but I think that is almost solved for all the people. I don't know, report back if it's not solved for you. But if it's not solved, you run the 900. And I do run, if I want to run the 910 everywhere, I want to have a cursor that's the same, breeze snow, this white thing. And then we need also the the logout icons when we press super x i want to log out and have this nice round sardi icons to say quit or reboot or shut down stuff like that okay and now the lock screen is a little bit ugly well it's not ugly it's a standard lock screen but we have made so many i think around 15 or so lock screens in arco linux so i'm gonna take of course a beautiful lock screen from arco linux that's it this is our time. So to recapitulate, we did not install. 710 is the first I skipped. 800 and 900. 
the rest I installed, archway I installed too. Okay? I think so, yep. So, sudo reboot, let's have a look. How does it look? We're still on Arch Linux. We've installed BSPWM thanks to our Arch Linux packages and configurations. We are presented with a LightDM because we don't want to auto login. I want you to show that now there is the possibility to select something. And then we're going in. And here we have a first glance at our BSPWM. Super return will show you this. Super shift return will show you the file manager. And everything looks nice, looks uh, um, well, themed and tweaked and all that. And our next tutorial will be about how to tweak it even more. But here you have already a working system. Maybe a first quick word. So the top is here polybar and we rely on polybar to have all these icons so we can switch from desktop to desktop. We have also a conky, which is again not necessary, but it's there for you to help you. Super shift D, super shift D. And then you find your shortcuts, you find your, your uh, elements. Uh, Control Alt V is going to boot up Vivaldi and super space is going to change the layout and stuff like that. So you can find it with the shortcuts that are here. And at the end, when you say, I know all my shortcuts, you can get rid of the conky because that's the idea at the end. All right, enjoy BSP WM. We're gonna fine tune it a little, little bit more um, and um, see you on the net. Cheers.